Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am an Adrenal Fatigue Recovery Ninja and today I want to talk to you about MTHFR gene mutation. So what does that exactly mean? Whenever you get a genetic test back from 23andMe or Ancestry sites or even LabCorp, um, typically they're testing for MTHFR and many other genes. There's 23,000 genes that code for different enzymes and MTHFR is just one of them. But there are three possible results that can come out. The first one is negative negative. That means that there is no mutation, that the gene is working optimally. The next one is negative positive. That means that there's some alteration in the gene. The last one is positive positive, which means there's a more alteration in the gene, that it's not working efficiently. And so this means we've inherited two um, abnormal or non-functioning perfectly genes from mom and from dad. So it doesn't mean they're broken. It doesn't mean that they don't work. Um, it just means that they don't work efficiently. So what I want to do is I want to explain to you what an actual gene mutation is because I think people don't understand that. And the way my mind works is to explain um, these things in analogies. So think about genes and what they do is they code for enzymes. So just like a computer person, he codes for a program. It copies or replicates an enzyme. And so the best way that I can ex explain it is if you remember those old credit card processing machines and you would put the card in there and you would swipe it and then it would make an impression and then you would have an impression of that card. Think about that's what a gene is doing when it's coding for an enzyme. And so when you have a normal normal, that means for every 10 swipes that you do of that credit card, 10 swipes are good. When you have a positive negative or you have a heterozygous mutation, that means that seven swipes of the card are good and three are not. So the card goes in sideways or it doesn't go in all the way and it can't read it. And then when you have a positive positive, think about it's, it's three swipes are good for every 10. But the problem with these swipes is that you need those receipts in order to make energy. And, and when we have stress and we have environmental toxins, then that increases the demand for swiping those credit cards. And that's pretty much what a gene mutation is. It doesn't necessarily mean it's broken. It just means that for every swipe, you're going to have more than likely a reduced ability of having an impression. Now, there are some genes that are considered as a mutation. They upregulate. So for every 10 swipes that you do, you get 12 or 13. And then that can cause a whole problem on its own as well. So when we're talking about MTHFR, MTHFR makes methylfolate. And methylfolate is very, very important for over 250 cellular reactions like brain chemicals and focusing and concentrating or not feeling sad or not being anxious or being able to regenerate your DNA so you're repairing your hair and your skin and your nails or fighting off an infection if you have a virus, if you have a cold sore or shingles. That's probably an MTHFR um, uh, not necessarily um, a result but it's a correlation or there's some kind of impact of the MTHFR gene not being able to code for the methylfolate 10 swipes out of 10. It can also impact your hormones so you're not being able to break down or make hormones. So think about methylation and MTHFR gene mutations as the ability to make things happen in the body and break things in the body. And if you're not doing a good job of that, you're not doing 10 for 10 and you have a lot of stress um, then you're going to fall behind on the methylation rent and your landlord's going to kick you out and you're going to have a lot of problems. So anyways, that's MTHFR gene mutation. I hope that made it a little bit more clear for you as to what it means. If you need someone to give you some help or interpret your MTHFR gene mutation, your 23andMe results or your ancestry sites, I'm the guy that can do it for you. We do free 15-minute phone consults. My name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I call myself the Adrenal Fatigue Recovery Ninja. Make sure you give me a share, a like, a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go check my blog out, adrenalfatiguesociety.com, and I have a Facebook page called Adrenal Fatigue Recovery. Look forward to helping you with your adrenal fatigue nightmare.